Hey what's up guys, Yusuf Shaw from TechDroids and this is the Dragon War ELE G11. A very budget gaming mouse that retails for under 500 rupees in India. And in this video I'll give you guys my quick unboxing and full review. Should you even buy such a cheap gaming mouse? Where's the corners cut? What can be done to improve this mouse? All of that in this video. Now taking a look at the box, you can see it's available in a bunch of colors and also the box highlights its major features that we'll talk about you know, in the video, so wait for that. But this is gonna be one of the most simplest unboxings you'll ever do. So you know, open up the box. In the styrofoam cover is the Dragon War ELE G11. Close the box and let's get to the mouse itself. And talking about the build and design, it looks really good. For 500 rupees, the quality of materials used is really good and you can really not complain. I think this can take a beating, maybe you can drop it a bunch of times and this will last a long time. We have it in the black color as you can see and it looks good. It's got that, you know, sports car like design. It's also very ergonomic, so you know, comfort is on point. And also you have two extra buttons on the left, so it's not for left-handed people, although you can use it if you're a lefty, but if you wanna use those extra buttons, you have to be a right-handed person person. But yeah, built-in design, I think it can be improved, you can use better materials, but I can really not complain for the price that it retails for. And also comfort, I've been using this mouse for you know more than six months now and haven't had any problems with it. I can keep using it for hours and still not feel anything because it's very comfortable and ergonomic. Now talking about the key features of this mouse, it is available in a bunch of colors, that is one. But talking about you know technical specs, in terms of DPI, you can go up to 3200, so ranging from 800, 1600, 2400, and all the way up to 3200. DPI and you also have a gold plated USB connector with a braided cord which is 1.8 meters haven't had a problem you know it, no connection issues the cord itself is really high quality it is long enough and it is holding up really well as it's braided and for the price it's really appreciated the cord in you know electronic devices is really important and Dragon War has nailed it here. The connector, the cord, everything is really good. And it also supports Dragon War's custom blue sensor technology. Now, not going too technical, it's a really good sensor. For 500 rupees, you can really not complain much. It's accurate, it's precise, and tracking is good. So if you like to play games like Counter-Strike or you know things where you have to aim and be precise, this is good. And also for day-to-day -day usage, even if you're not a gamer, this mouse will get the job done. Now, on the box, it says that the mouse has six programmable buttons, but that's not really true. It includes both the right and left clicks the dpi switch which cannot be used for anything else and also the scroll wheel that acts as one and two extra buttons that actually can be programmed are on the left side of the mouse so you can use it for you know back and forward in the browser and just everywhere in the ui and yeah you can program them to do you know certain things in games if the game support it now in terms of the clicks and buttons itself they're really good quality they work really well they don't make much noise i'll give you a sound test in a second so in my opinion the mouse can go through wear and tear it will last for a long time and yeah, considering the price, the clicks and the buttons were really good. They're very tactile and they don't feel cheap. So here's a little sound test of the buttons itself. So to conclude this review, for 500 rupees, the Dragon War ELE G11 is a really good choice. Now you might have noticed I didn't go very negative or very harsh on this mouse because it's 500 rupees and Dragon War is trying to give something to the budget, the very tight budget gaming audience in India and I really appreciate it. You know, things that can be done to improve this mouse, maybe upgrade to USB 3.0. Also, you can upgrade the quality of materials that is used in making the mouse. Also the side buttons, they don't feel really strong. They can go through wear and tear but I think they will of working eventually after some time. The clicks itself are really good, the sensor does not need any improvement. And that's about it for this video guys, thanks so much for watching, drop a like and also let me know in the comments down below what you think about the mouse. If you want to buy this mouse, it'll be linked down below in the description and that will help the channel out, so that's Amazon.in. Currently the mouse is retailing for 420 rupees, so in my opinion it's a very you know stellar deal, so just go ahead and grab it. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and things related to gaming and technology. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.